Thank you, Jerry, very much for uh, the introduction and uh, welcome everyone. I want to uh, talk today about a couple of a couple of challenges. We want to talk today mostly about uh, how private schools can really benefit from taking a hard look at their uh, finance systems. And uh, joining me is Phil Kintillan. Phil is the CFO of one of our private school customers, Derby Academy. So today, uh, we walk through the agenda. Jared's already uh, uh, gone through introductions. Then uh, Phil will spend a couple minutes talking about the challenges for private schools that, that he faced, and I'm sure that you also may be experiencing. I'll do a quick overview about uh, how Sage Intact addresses some of those challenges for private schools. Then Phil will talk about why uh, they chose Sage Intact and some of the benefits and that they're receiving already, uh, you know, six months post implementation. And then we'll talk about next steps and then we'll answer questions and we'll answer questions. So I'd like to turn it over to Phil Cantillon, CFO for Derby Academy to talk about some of the challenges his private school was facing. Great. Thank you, David. Um, just a little bit of background on Derby. Uh, we're a pre-K through eight uh, school, about 312 students, and around 85 full-time employees during the school year, but we also have an active summer camp, uh, which employs about 80 folks as well. Um, so, As um, Jared and David mentioned, I joined the school around 2014. I'm also joined today by a controller, Anthony Black, who joined us in 2017. And one of the problems we were facing was a legacy platform that hadn't been upgraded in anywhere between eight to 10 years. So we were looking at a decision on whether to upgrade with the incumbent or whether to move forward with a new platform. Um, and some of the issues we were facing was financial reporting was very cumbersome for us. And, and we could really only get the basics out of the system and anything that we wanted to do beyond a basic income statement or balance sheet usually required us to work with Excel and download information or try to get information out of the system. A lot of hand keying of information, uh, a lot of redundancy. Um, we also had limited access to certain financial information. And what I mean by that is a business unit leads, whether they were a department head or a division head, the only way they could get information out of the system was if the business office produced a paper report for them and um, was able to uh, hand that off and then explain it to them. So one of the goals that we have was to move our, more of our reporting online, give better access to financial information, and with that, drive accountability down to that level as well. Uh, we had very limited integration um, in, this, in our overall financial system. So uh, we had one legacy platform that we use for our GL. Our fixed assets were maintained on an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, bank reconciliation and cash receipts information were maintained on Excel spreadsheets, and we use QuickBooks as ancillary reporting, such as after-school programs or sports programs, things of that nature. So part of what we're trying to do is also start to really move towards a single platform as much as we could. And lastly, we're, we're on a premise-based service system. So there's housed in a basement on one of the buildings on the school's campus, that didn't align with what we were trying to achieve from a disaster recovery standpoint or remote workforce capability. Uh, we did use, we did nightly backups with a third party vendor, but our goal was to have a system that if, whether it was a snowstorm or a certain outage on the campus, uh, uh, people could work from home. So in summary, we had a system that didn't align with what we were trying to achieve from a financial reporting or an accountability standpoint. We had multiple systems, which I'm sure everybody on this call has dealt with at one point in time in their career. We're trying to, you know, skinny down that environment as well. And lastly, you know, as I said, on a premise-based system, that didn't align with our long-term technology or business office strategies. I'll now turn it back over to Dave. So thanks for that great synopsis. I think that... Uh, well, wow. you've accurately captured the, uh, some of the challenges a lot of private schools are facing. Again, you know, it's, um, you know, financially, it's really important for private schools to run a tight ship and get access to information. You know, one of the things that Phil and I talked about quite extensively during the discovery process was that we really want to empower 
our managers with the ability to see their budgets real time, to really see how they're doing against their budget, to see what the expenditures are, et cetera. Uh, in fact, we just added another uh, school, LaSalle Academy, and that was a big concern there. Uh, and, and what you'll find is, uh, just a quick poll, by the way, of, of the attendees, you've got a little hand raise icon. How many people have experienced some of the challenges that Phil described? Uh, just give me a show of hands by uh, clicking on the little hand raise icon. We just take a second to go through that. Oh, 100 percent of you. That's great. Well, it uh, looks like we've got we get the needs nailed down uh, pretty well. So let's talk a little bit about again how Sage Intact uh, really helps achieve several of the uh, of the challenges that Phil had spoken about. And, and I think the biggest one was the whole idea of a legacy and premise-based system, and I'll just talk about that as an overview. Intact is a true cloud-based product. It is not, um, there are a lot of vendors out there that say their product is a cloud-based product, but what it really is is a premise-based product that they put in a cloud front end on. And how you really tell the difference between a cloud-based product and a true cloud-based product and a, and, a, and a kind of hybrid cloud-based product is how are updates done. A product like NCAT gets updated four times a year seamlessly and automatically versus with a hybrid cloud, you have to go in and manually update it every time. So again, that, that solves the significant challenges around not only around updating, because I think a lot of the private schools that I've talked to in my five plus years here at Bloom have challenges with keeping their software updated, right? So how many people have had challenges with uh, keeping their software updated. Why don't you give me a show of hands there as well. Yeah, again, almost everyone that's attending today has had the same challenge, and that's the big thing with a, with a premise-based system. And then let's not even talk about security, right? I mean, when you have a premise-based system, right, you're responsible for security. And, and in today's day and age, that's really hard with ransomware and all the different threats and viruses and you know, one person's laptop gets connected to a network. If that person has some kind of ransomware or virus, it can infect everything, including the accounting software platform. So when you have a product like Intact that is truly cloud, they have all the security nailed down. But most importantly, you never have to worry about it. So again, uh, th that's one. Th th so let me go to the next slide, Jared, and we'll talk a little bit about some of the features of Intact. The biggest one I see that's valuable to schools is the dashboarding capabilities of Intact. So what you're seeing here is for another nonprofit, but again, uh, what's more important is you look at the, at the elements of this. So across the top of the page, you see scorecards. Scorecards basically reflect current, current, uh, current status versus either a budget or a prior year. So you can see across the top, there are uh, visual indicators about what things are doing well and what things aren't doing well. In this particular example, uh, number of clients served is up from prior year, number of meals is up, job places is up, but the total program expense has been red flagged because it's over budget. So again, the ability, you know, every, every, every nonprofit organization has to really define the key metrics that they have to show people paying tuition, the parents paying tuition that they achieve. And whether it's a performance scores or graduation rates or whatever. And uh, so you can easily show that in a dashboard. And the nice thing about these performance cards is, as a department manager, I could look at my budget in key areas. If I click on that performance card, I can drill down and see the detail. The same thing with the charts and graphs you see. And every Every one of these, these dashboards is customizable on a per user basis, all right? That makes sense? Uh, give me a hand raise if that makes sense. And you can see how that would apply to your school. So give me a quick hand raise. Fantastic, great. All right, again, everybody raised their hand. Almost everybody raised their hand. So all right, go to the next slide, Jared, please. The next one is reporting, okay? Uh, a lot, of the, a lot of the schools that we do work with have several systems. You know, they may be using uh, fax for student billing. They may be using Raises Edge for, for uh, fundraising. They may be using QuickBooks, as Phil was, 
to do some type of invoicing. They may be using another product. And the problem is you create these silos of information. What, but what Intact does is through its integration capabilities, and Phil will talk to us about a little later about the benefits he received and why they made the move. But what, 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 they, what, what they have is it's one single source of information for everyone. So not only can you put within Intact all of your different billing metrics, all of your different, but you can also put non-financial information. So you can go out and, and, and show the non-financial data, such as students or number of teachers or uh, you know, number, of, number of classes attended or number of service projects or whatever non-financial metric, you can add them in and do reporting based on those metrics in one place. And not only, and, and rather than uh, having piles of paper get shuffled around, with Intact, you have the ability to define a reporting package in addition to the dashboards on a per user basis, and then you can schedule them to run. So from a business office perspective, you can really streamline your work because at the end of the month, you create a, you close the books, you create a reporting package, it gets scheduled, and it gets sent out to everybody automatically without any additional intervention. Uh, next slide, please. Another real benefit of Intact that we find with our customers that is very beneficial is it is the top rated, <clears throat> it is the top rated accounting software package, uh, not by experts, but by user reviews. So there are almost 1,100 users of Intact that have gone to these two sites, G2 Crowd and Trust Radius, and basically awarded Intact the top rated vendor across all these different reviews. So that's a real benefit as well because, you know, having one person, um, you know, basically say, well, this is a great package. That's one person's perspective. But when you have 1,100 people saying it's a great package, I mean, just think about, you know, when you go on Amazon, right? If some expert reviews a product on Amazon, it's not going to hold a lot of weight. But if somebody, if you see three or 400 user reviews that say, yeah, it's five stars, that's a real benefit. And that really shows you that people are truly happy with, uh, with, the, um, with the product. Next slide, please. Uh, again, uh, the other thing that Intact provides, Intact is a best of breed software solution. So rather than trying to be everything to everyone, like other products where they have all these different modules that sometimes the development suffers because they've got to focus their efforts in so many areas. Intact has integrations with almost 175 different partners and they're seamless integrations. So just from the school's perspective, uh, you can see Razor's Edge there. Um, you know, there are, there are a lot of, a lot of uh, sales forces making some big inroads into the kind of donor management part, there's, a, there's an integration with donor management. Uh, asset Edge for fixed assets, adaptive planning for budgeting, ADP for payroll, and paychecks for payroll. So what the benefit there is, and one of Phil's big challenges was integration, all of the data can seamlessly flow into Intact and then be reported within that same financial system and appear on the dashboard. So there really is a single source of truth you know, get your, your billing from facts, the, that data comes in, that raises edge fundraising data comes in, everything is contained in one place. Next slide, please. And this is the uh, Intact Rubik's Cube. Intact makes, makes, uh, makes use of something called dimensionality, so that in the old school accounting software, and I've been in the accounting software business since 1986, so it's a pretty long time, in the old school accounting software, if I were going to track expenditures by program, let's say after school program versus uh, ESL program, whatever, I, I would have to create a, if I added a new program, I would have to replicate all those accounts for that program. With Intact, all I do is I add it to the, program is one of the dimensions, I add it to the dimension, now I can report on it very easily. I can slice and dice my financial data eight different ways in Intact. You want to see it by lower school versus a uh, middle school versus upper school. If you want to see it by program, if you want to see it by curriculum area, if you want to see it by location, if you want, you can you can define these dimensions 
to the way you need your financial reporting, and then you can make them work for you. And again, adding a dimension, adding another whole bucket is it takes 25 seconds. You add the dimension, you click save, now you can report on it. So there's really a lot of value in the ability to basically see all my expenditures across each department at the push of a button. All my, all my expenditures versus uh, my lower school versus my middle school versus my upper school. All my expenses by program. All my expenses by grant source, et cetera, if, if you have grant funding. So for a nonprofit, that dimensionality is very, very valuable. Next slide, please. So, and just to, to wrap up again, Intact is a pure cloud ERP system. It means that you don't have to worry about updates. And by the way, they do four updates a year. Every quarter they do an update. Any integrations that are into the Intact system, they guarantee will not break. So at the end of the day, you, you can rest assured that if you've developed an, if there's an integration to your fax billing system, Intact doesn't update, it's not going to break. Just the way they design it. And if there is a problem, they'll take care of it. All you need to run Intact is a browser and a connection to the Internet. Uh, you can run it sitting on your back porch. You can access it from home. You can access it from your phone or any device. So, again, that ability to have a distributed, a distributed system really helps private schools get access to information when they need it. And next slide, please. So I'm going to turn it back over to Phil to talk about why uh, Derby Academy chose and implemented Sage Intact and some of the benefits they've received. Go. Thanks, David. Thanks, David. So we, we evaluated a few different systems before we made the choice on Intact. Um, probably the driving force for us was uh, one is the financial reporting on, on the system allowed us to go at least four levels down if we wanted to. So we could do the entire school, we could do a division, we can go down to a project level if at some point that's where we want to take it to. At this point, we're, we're about three levels down in the reporting. Uh, the flexibility of the system on financial reporting is outstanding, which is part of what we wanted. So if the head of the lower school wants to see his, his dashboard one way, we can customize to that. If the head of the school wants to see it a different way, we can customize to that because they may have two very different uh, focuses relative to the number of students in their population, number of teachers in their population. But it also gives them the, the ability to dry, drill down on any one item. So if, they, if our head of the school is looking at marketing expenses, he can click on the marketing expense um, line and go right down to the transaction detail if he wants to. So that obviously gives better access to information for him. But from a business office perspective, it starts to take some of the burden off of us to keep drilling down and doing the reporting for people um, when they're looking uh, for a very specific piece of information. Um, we can align with changes, which is something that we want. Probably, I think we all live in an environment where one year, you know, certain departments may roll up under one division and the next year they're under another division. For us now, this is point and click for a change of, of that nature. And that gives us a great deal of the flexibility that we're looking for. Operationally, we've seen the amount of time it takes for our monthly close cut in half. Uh, it's a much more efficient process. Uh, we're able to do bank reconciliations now with inside the system. Our fixed assets are contained within in the system. Um, so that integration of all the key reporting systems is a benefit that we got through the Intact product. We haven't fully linked into our development systems, which is Razor's Edge, but those are things that are on the docket for us to take a look at and see if there are benefits there. Um, we use Razor's Edge for our uh, development office, and we're a Whipple Hill School. We use Smart Tuition on the, um, for the tuition management system. Uh, but the integration of those systems is something that we're, we will see continue to see benefits on. Uh, we've talked already a lot about the benefits of being on a cloud-based platform. Uh, the uh, one of the things we did like about Intact when we spoke with with David and the team was that consistency of release levels. And what we've found is that process is extremely easy for us. They give us detailed notes on what the changes are about. Uh, we've yet to have one happen that didn't go smoothly uh, from our side. So it all feels uh, right to us when they do make a change 
and we move forward. Uh, and probably a, more of a side benefit is we do think it will enhance, enhance our audit process. Uh, we work with Bloom Shapiro. You know, they use Intact you know, to help uh, manage their process and the audit. This gives them better access to the information. So they're not requesting from, they don't, won't have to request from our department all the time. You know, specific pieces of data or information, they can, will allow them to access it directly if, if need be. So uh, we're very pleased with the system. We, Anthony and I both believe we're probably using it at about 30 to 40% of the capabilities we've got, which is why we bought it. We wanted something that could grow with the school and grow with uh, how we wanted to uh, continue to enhance the reporting and financial accountability of the school. So we, we are uh, very happy with the decisions that we've made. And I will hand it back to David. Thanks very much, Phil. And uh, I hope, um, so what you're going to wrap up and we're going to have some questions and answers. So, um, so as a follow-up and next steps to this webinar today, uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for listening. Uh, you know, we decided to do a short webinar so that we can get some points across and, and not take, you know, a whole hour out of your day because we all know how busy you are this time of year. But what we wanted to offer is the ability to uh, have me come in or, or have, have a conversation to do a free uh, assessment of your current finance system to see if it meets your needs and to see if maybe we can help. And, uh, you know, we're... You know, several of you are clients of the firm, and, and uh, you know, what I can promise to you and, and everyone else on the line today is that we will, be, we will be open and honest about whether we can help you or not or whether we think Intact will be a good fit. We're not going to put a square peg in a round hole. So certainly reach out to me. Uh, we'll, we'll have a follow-up email with the recording of this session with my email address. I uh, would love to have a conversation to answer some of your questions about some of the challenges you're facing and see if we can help. And I'll turn it back over to Jared for a question and answers. Yeah, if anyone uh, has any questions, uh, feel free to submit them through the questions panel. Dave, one I have uh, that came through, and I don't know if uh, both you and Phil want to speak to this one, but it was a question about the school having such uh, personal information um, when it comes to student data, things of that nature. Um, are you able to talk a little bit more about the security of uh, being a cloud-based product uh, and, and how that is? Well, I'll, I'll make a comment, and then I think Phil can comment as well, but uh, Intact is, um, it meets all of the security guidelines uh, that, you know, the uh, SSA and PCI compliance and uh, they go through a very, very rigorous security audit every year and to make sure that their sites are secure. Um, <clears throat> they, um, they basically employ white hat hackers to try to come in and break the system. They have been unsuccessful so far. So, you know, and, and just thinking practically, they're, they're a cloud accounting system. They can't have a breach. They have a breach and people lose confidence in it. So. You know, they employ a lot, of, they spend a lot of money, tens of millions of dollars every year, just making sure that their site is secure and the customer data is secure. Yeah, this is Phil. I would agree with what David said. We've found their security protocols are, are very solid. Um, as a school, we actually outsource our technologies to support to a company that um, most of the employees are ex-Fidelity people. Um, so they tend to be incredibly security conscious as well, as you might imagine. And they looked at it and felt more than comfortable with, with how Intact's arranged for security. Um, and so we're very comfortable with that decision. Dave, Any other uh, questions, Jared? Yeah, one other question we have, yeah, uh, when you talk about being able to view uh, updates to budgets and, and see your, your stats uh, in real time, do you actually mean real time or, or is that, you know, the system updates daily, um, you know, hourly, is it actually in real time? This is Phil, um, it is absolutely in real time. So the minute we make the entry into the system, the end user, again, that be a division head or a department who may have access to it, can see that change right in the system. So it, yeah, the minute we enter a bill, for example, 
um, when they log in, they're going to see that that bill in, in their their expense report, um, analysis. David, I don't know what you want to add to that. Uh, again, it's it's uh, intact has two basic modes, right? The first mode is draft mode, but you know, unlike a lot of other batch oriented systems, intact is real time and it's designed that way. So if I was to enter an AP bill, I could hold it in draft. Once I post an AP bill, it's posted to the system, and the only way to get rid of it is to reverse it. So you know that that provides a really good audit trail as well. So yeah, I mean that is one of the advantages of intact. That's one of the design. Uh, design considerations is that people do get real-time updates on exactly what you know exactly what um, what their financial results are so I think that's a real big advantage you know you don't have to worry about you know a, a, a manager having to wait to the end of the month to get a financial statement to see where his or her budget is so I think that's a great advantage great uh, I think that's uh, all the questions we have uh, for right now so Dave and Phil, unless you have anything else to add, um, I, I think we're all set here. Uh, no, thank you very much. And if anyone ever wants to contact us and just talk offline about this opportunity, about what we've um, done with the system and the changes that we've made, we're happy to entertain that phone call. Same here. Again, thanks, everybody, for uh, time and attendance and your attention today. And we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you very much.